Hi guys, welcome back. Today what I'm going to do is show you the brand new Ping i59 irons. They are going to replace the iBlade that has been out for about five years now. So we're going to have a little hit with these today, see how they perform. Apparently they are as forgiving as the i210. Um, so we're going to sort of test that with a little comparison side by side with the i210 irons as well and see if their claims are true. As always guys, if you do enjoy this video, please do smash that like button down below. And if you haven't already and you'd enjoy what you're seeing here, please do consider subscribing to the channel and the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. If you tap that as well, you'll get notified for every new video I post. Let's get started. So the i59 irons are, a, are actually a multi-piece construction, better players iron. So they are kind of classed as their closest that they really get to a blade iron. They're forged in construction behind the club face. However, as we'll talk about in a minute, there's a lot going on within the club. So seeing as they are replacing the eye blade, it's no surprise that in terms of looks, they are actually really, really similar down, by, down behind the ball. They've got the same kind of blade length, same offset, and you've even got a similar bounce built into the sole. So let's have a little look at the tech on this golf club. So the i59 basically have, has three features. Number one is the body of the iron, and that is essentially the forged part of the club. That is a forged carbon steel. Number two is actually the club face itself, which is laser cut stainless steel. So the actual part of the club that's hitting the ball isn't forged, that is stainless steel and it's laser cut. And number three is the actual revolutionary part, and that is the core inside the, the club, behind the club face, called Illuminicore. Illuminicore, I think. Illuminicore, which is basically an aluminium insert, which they have kind of designed specifically to take 30% of the weight away from the mass of the club head. And that means they can actually then position it more cleverly in other parts of the club head to make the club have an extremely high MOI. Uh, which makes it a lot more forgiving basically. So that's why even in the club this size and in this package, they can create as much forgiveness in it as the I210. The other revolutionary part of this club is the grooves themselves, which they call Micromax. So basically they managed to make the grooves smaller and they put a lot more on the club face itself by creating a smaller gap between each groove. So by doing that, they've been able to fit four more grooves on the club face which helps to keep the spin up on long, longer irons and helps to reduce the chance of flyers on the shorter irons. And your shaft options are pretty standard across the range to what they already had, as well as now Project LS shaft, which is a replacement for the Project LZ. So this is a bit where you might need a seat, but the price of these irons in US money is $275 per iron. So that is per iron in pounds sterling. So price is absolutely a point that you want to look at and think about when you're looking at these irons. So let's now give these a good hit and we'll also compare them to the i210 iron that Ping already offer. We'll have a little look at the numbers after and discuss what we see. As ever, we have Pro V1 on the floor and we'll just get a bit of data and see what's what. Behind the ball, really nice looking club head, likes a very little offset, very thin top line. And actually the groove seemed to almost stop earlier towards the toe so there's almost seems to be like a bigger toe of the golf club which seems a bit uh, just looks a bit different to normal those grooves are very obviously smaller thinner um, and that you can kind of tell there's more of them as well that's a lot firmer and harsher off the club face than i was expecting Definitely get a sense like, you know, that first swing, that was a definite sense of the club face. There's something very different to a traditional forge club going on. Quite a high flight. These are lofted. This is a 7 iron lofted at 34 degrees. That's their stock loft. You can get them obviously with the power spec, which is a little bit stronger. And you can get them in the retro spec, which is a little bit weaker. But these at 34 degrees for a 7 iron is pretty, pretty typical for nowadays. Very consistent though so far. I mean that's a really nice high flight, but it's still traveling forward, which gives me a sense of the spin isn't just taking off and ballooning. I mean, they do feel different, but I actually 
already are starting to quite like it. I mean, that's just dropping and stopping so quickly. And for a better player's club, that's just effortless getting the ball up in the air. I mean, I can't hit three better shots than that, really. A little bit lower in the club face. Certainly just sees a dropping a little bit short, a little bit further right. But yeah, I would say really nice feeling club with the stainless steel club face and the aluminum core behind that. I think it's not shocking that that feels a lot harsher, a lot firmer than, uh, than that would normally feel. Um, but otherwise, yeah, really good performing club. So we now swap to the I210 iron from Ping and see how it compares. Look straight away, the grooves being very different. They extend probably a little bit nearer towards the toe in looks to me. And there's just that little bit more top line and a little bit more offset there. Definitely straight away feel wise, that little bit softer with the I210. Just going by eye, similar kind of flight, nice and high, plenty of stop on the other end. You definitely see a little bit more offset in the I210 behind the ball um, and just that head shape or head size is that little bit bigger. These really are a really good set of irons, they just feel lovely. So these I210 irons really are just a very solid iron, they do just look that little bit thicker. On the top line, a little bit more offset and head size, just that little bit bigger. But yeah, just ever so slightly softer in feel than the I-59s. So let's have a little look at the numbers between those two and see if we can tell any differences that might be worth discussing when it comes to making a choice between the two of them. So it's not a massive surprise really to see that Side by side, these shots or these irons are almost identical. So ide almost identical launch angle, very, very similar flights, almost identical distance in terms of the landing spot, both at landing at 150 and both, you know, if there is run out, it's a yard or two at most. So they're both stopping super quick for me. Ball speeds, there's one mile an hour in it. It's slightly quicker with the I-210 and spin, there's a tiny bit of difference in the spin by 200 RPM. Not that you're gonna really notice that on the golf course. So really between the two of these irons, for me, it comes down to which one you're gonna prefer the look of. And I do prefer the look of the I-59s. And seeing as they're no less forgiving, it, looking at the numbers and looking at the way I was hitting them, I'd have no problem at all playing the I-59s and putting them in my bag. So that's it guys, that's my review of the Ping I-59 irons. I-59, I210, which one are you going to go for? Pop it down in the comments down below. Let me know which head you would choose and why. I hope you enjoyed that review. And please do smash that like button down below. And if you haven't already and you enjoyed today, please do consider subscribing as well to the channel. And the little bell icon next to the subscribe button will alert you for every new video I post. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.